Good morning and happy Sabbath, my beginner and kindergarten kiddos. I am coming to meet with you again today. Thank you for meeting with me as we talk about God's word. We're going to study the story of Elijah again, but this story is a little bit different. So I hope that you're ready to learn some more. I'm so glad that you're here today. So before we get started, can you bow your heads and close your eyes? If you have a place that you can kneel at home, go ahead and do that now. All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your Bible and the words that it shares with us. Please help us as we study to keep our focus on you. Put your Holy Spirit with us now. Amen. Amen. I hope that you prayed with me. And now that we've invited God here, I'm going to ask that you, if you have a mirror, if you can hold that up, and who do you see in there? Do you see me? No, you see yourself. And if there's anyone else with you, hold it up so they can see themselves too. And we're going to sing, We're So Glad You're Here Today. We're so glad you're here today, Alyssa, Alyssa, except you put your name there. We're so glad you're here today, Alyssa. Okay. I'm so glad you're here. So we're going to do a little activity. What you're going to need for this activity is a blindfold and someone else there with you. Isaac's blindfolded and I'm going to give him directions. Let's see how he does. Let's see if he trusts me. Walk forward. I'll tell you when to step. Step up. You're cheating. I'm not. I didn't know where it is. Turn to the left. Like that. Go straight. Okay. Go to the right. Like that. Yes. Go straight. Go to the right a little bit. Go straight. Go to the right. Keep going to the right. Go to the right a little bit more. Get a wall over here. <laughs> Go to the left. Go to the left. Is he going to fall in the pool? Go to the left a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I still have been pulled that way. <laughs> the tree's right there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go to the right. Like that? Come on. Like yes. That. Go to the left. <laughs> You're not going to the left enough. Like that? Yes. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> he made it without falling in the pool. <laughs> Here it goes. How did that feel, Isaac? <laughs> felt weird. Did you trust me? <laughs> kind of, a little bit. Isn't it good yeah, that God good. takes care of us when we can't see and he guides us better than I guided you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did that feel? Was it strange not being able to see? And were you afraid that your partner might bump you into something? It's a little scary. Well, today in our Bible story, 
there is Elijah. And we learned last week about the widow that he's living with. And in our story, we're going to learn how she trusted God, similar to how you had to trust your partner when you were blindfolded. We can trust God all the time, can't we? Because he cares for us. Say this with, with me. God will always give the best answer to our prayers. We're going to sing a song now, and I'm going to need you to stand up and follow along. The song is... Our God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his. The stars, the stars are, are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Now whisper. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his. The valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Now loud. The mountains in my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. That's a fun song. And I am so thankful that our God is so great, so strong and so mighty, and that there's nothing he can't do. I have a little band-aid here and if you have a band-aid stop the the movie and go grab one real quick because we're going to do something with it. We are going to open it up pretend we have an alley on our finger and we're going to put the band-aid on. Try to do it all by yourself. Oh, it's tricky. Oh, how do you get it to stick on there? Oh no, how do I get the... Oh, it's all windy. Oh no, this was tricky to do by myself. Well, how did you guys do at home? I needed help to get it straight on there. I needed someone to help me. Did you think it was easy or hard? Mine was a little bit tricky. Who usually helps us with band-aids? When I was a little girl, my mom and dad helped me with band-aids. God gives us our mom and dad, our grandmas and grandpas, and our caretakers to help take care of us. In the story today, we're gonna talk about a mommy who will say is the widow, and she couldn't help her little boy. She needed God to help her. And sometimes we need God to help us too, actually all the time. And thankfully Jesus is there to help us too. Say this again with me. God will always give the best answer to our prayers. We're gonna sing about God's love in the song, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus. 
Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates are open wide, he will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Now, I'm pretty sure he loves just me, right? Oh, does he love my mom and dad too? He loves you too? Oh my goodness, Jesus doesn't just love me. He loves everyone, doesn't he? I hope that we can share that with others, how much Jesus loves them. Where can we read about Jesus? We can read about Jesus in our Bibles. Oh, look at that. I turned right to the story of Elisha and the widow, which, what, which is what we're going to talk about today. Do you have a Bible? If you do, stop the video and go get it. We're going to sing a song. In the song, before we get started, let's. I want you to open up your Bibles and see what story is in there. Here's Samson and Delilah. Whoa, Samson's so strong. Look in there and see what you can find. There's so many wonderful things in the Bible. We're going to sing, I open my Bible book and read. I open my Bible book and read. He loves me. He loves me. Again. I open my Bible book and read. He loves me. He loves me. Inside of our Bibles are God's word to us. The memory verse for our story today is the Lord cares for those who trust in him. Nahum 1 7. 1 7. If you have a paper and you can write, go get it because we're going to write the memory verse down. All right, I'm gonna need help. Last time I had trouble spelling. Well, remember it's the T-H-E Lord L-O-R-D Cares C-A-R-E-S for F-O-R those T H O S E who W H O 
trust, T-R-U-S-T, N-I-N, him, capital H-I-M, capital because we're talking about God. So that's a proper name. We want to capitalize that. And the book of the Bible is capital N-A-H-U-M. Does anybody remember the verses? Chapter 1, verse 7. I am so glad that God takes care of us. We just need to have faith and trust in him. Whoopsie daisy. We're going to sing a song about God caring for us now. Sing along, why don't you? Jesus loves little children? Uh -huh. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> We're going to talk through our story about Elijah and the widow and the widow's son. It's very important. Here's Elijah. And where is he? Is he outside? Is he in prison? No, he's in the widow's house in a town called Sarapath. That's a tricky name. God had sent him there to stay with the widow. And every day, the widow would go and look for flour and oil. What was she making? Do you remember? She was making bread. And God had promised that because she shared with Elijah when she had almost none left, that he would give her enough flour and oil to make bread until the end of the drought, until the rain came back. And every day when she looked, there was enough. Praise God. He did what he told her he would do and he didn't let her down. God will always give the best answer to our prayers. That's what we said earlier. Well, one morning, we're going to pretend. It doesn't tell us in the Bible, but we're going to pretend one morning the widow's son came to her and he said, Mommy, my stomach hurts. I don't feel good. Maybe she gave him a big glass of water. Maybe she sang to him and rocked him and told him some stories and laid him down in his bed. Well, what happened to her son? It was something very bad. He died. And the widow was so sad. She was screaming and crying, my son, my son. And do you think Elijah heard her? Yes, he was actually not close by. He came running inside and he said, widow, what is the matter? She, he said, and she told him and he said, give me your son. And Elijah had the son. And what do you think he did? Did he cry too? Maybe, but what do, should we do when we're in trouble, when we're upset? Pray, that's right. And he did, he was praying, dear God, why has this happened to the widow's son? Why has this happened to this kind lady? Oh God, please let this boy's life return. And he was begging God, 
and he said that prayer once. Did God hear him? Yes. Did God make the boy alive again after one prayer? No. Elijah said the prayer one time, two times, three times. God, please give this boy his life back. Sometimes God does that with us. He doesn't answer right away when we pray for things, but he always hears us. So let's remember that. So like I said, Elijah had prayed three times. And God came and he woke up the boy just like he had been sleeping. And Elijah shouted. He was so sad. No, he was so happy. He was so excited. And he shouted out with joy. He picked up the boy and ran to his mom and said, your son is alive. Your son is alive. And the widow grabbed her boy. And I'm sure she was crying happy tears. And she said, now I know. She said to Elijah, now I know that you're a man of God. God speaks through you. Do you know that God speaks through you too? Sometimes he gives the answers to our prayers through others. God speaks through you and other people in your family and other people around you. God cares for us. He will always give the best answer to prayers. Let's say our memory verse one more time. The Lord cares for those who trust in him, Nahum 1, 7. When we think about the story of Elijah and the widow and her son, let us remember this. Let us remember how much God cares for us and to trust in him always. Will you join me in saying a goodbye prayer? Fold our hands and close our eyes. Kneel if you can. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us and always caring for us, even though sometimes you don't answer right away. May we trust in you always. Lord, uh, we hope that we would remember this story and be able to share it with others, that they can know you too. Be with us as we go from here and bring us back to another day and another story about your Bible. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.